So this is what we're trying to achieve. That is the fleur-de-lis that I'm, I'm gonna do now. Now, I'm only gonna show you the process. So I'm doing this on top of a, a wooden surface that's painted with a household gloss, but you could do it on top of pretty much anything. And I have laid down a mask, which is originally from a sheet of A4 paper, which has got a sticky back to it. And uh, I've cut out the, the pattern that I want and now I'm covering it in size and I'm going to leave in this case about 15 minutes for it to dry that's obviously going to have to depend on humidity and temperature and what you're really looking for is for it to go completely clear and a bit matty and then after that when you put your finger on it it sounds squeaky at that point you're ready to go so I've laid on a sheet of gold leaf yellow gold in this case and I'm sort of burnishing it in around the edges where you can see I've got the mask and I'm actually using a makeup brush and um, I bought these all uh, very cheaply and um, I'm using it to just um, press it into that uh, that uh, edge between where the mask is and, uh, and where the gold lays in the corner and then I'm using that very short stubby bit of the brush to kind of push away any of the excess that I don't need and once that's been achieved um, I can then further sort of refine this process by um, using a vacuum cleaner in one hand and then kind of scrubbing away as I am here to make sure that I've got rid of any kind of little bits of debris that I don't want and if this was all you wanted to achieve if you wanted to make a flower or a star or a cloud uh, you could peel the mask off and you'd be done but I'm going to complicate it because I actually want to add uh, another layer of gold on top of it for contrast. So I've made up a mask and uh, I'm drawing around this mask with a biro and I'm not intending to leave a physical mark. What I am intending to do is to leave a, um, an indentation and that will give me something uh, that I can paint up against because I'm looking to get a very symmetrical shape here. So once I've removed the mask, I can then go back to the size after I've drawn on these two lines here with a ruler. And uh, I've now got something to work against so I can, I can paint accurately up against those, uh, uh, that indentation. Leaving that 15 minutes to dry and then repeating the process. But only this time we're gonna be doing it with rose gold. And um, that's kind of coppery looking and uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to add um, a kind of a shaded effect or a, another dimension, so to speak. Now, of course, if you were doing this and you wanted to do um, a flower or uh, a shape or a boat or a star or a fish or whatever it is you wanted to achieve, um, you could use, um, you know, there are other types of gold leaf that you can use in order to achieve that kind of effect. And it sticks very well to itself. Um, in this particular case, um, I'm aware of the fact that I've got um, three pieces of or three sheets of gold leaf and it's only going to stick to the areas that have got size beneath it. So as I start uh, removing uh, the excess bits of uh, rose gold that I don't need, I'm aware of the fact that uh, I'm going to be sort of like scrubbing away shortly, getting rid of the... Um, the sections where the gold leaf is sticking against other sheets of gold leaf but that doesn't have size on it. And the one thing that you'll notice here is just what a beautifully clean edge you get from, um, from that gold. That's, un un that's unmasked, you know, that is just literally what it looks like when you paint up against, um, you know, size that has been accurately painted on. And here I am, as I discussed earlier, I'm kind of scrubbing away to get rid of that excess and I'm refining the process by using um, a vacuum cleaner. And that too would be perfect, and you could call it a day. Um, I've decided to be fussy, and I've decided that there's a couple little bits that I want to uh, touch up. So again, on with the size, wait for it to dry, take some of the offcuts, stick those down, and then repeat the process. And um, it looks perfect. You're not aware that you've um, repaired it. Um, I wanted to uh, have a line showing. So um, again, I'm using a biro here, only interested in the indentation. And then you could use a Sharpie or some kind of permanent marker in order to um, achieve a lined effect. 
Uh, and again, that could be the end of it for you. Um, I'm going to further complicate it because now we're going to paint over the top of it. So I'm using uh, oil-based uh, enamel paints, sort of things that you would use for making uh, models. And uh, there you see two beautiful straight lines and uh, a nice contrast between the yellow gold and the rose gold. And now I'm painting around the outside. And this is uh, an effect that I want to achieve so that um, there is almost like a, a low light, shall we say, or a dark uh, edge to it. And I'm painting half onto the paper and half onto the uh, gold leaf itself. And I don't let it dry once it's, um, once it's painted. I, I peel it off while it's still wet because what I don't want to do is for that oil-based paint to kind of glue itself to the mask. And so I'm just about to start peeling it off. It's always a good idea when you're peeling off the masking to peel away from the sharper areas towards the area of detail. So I will literally start at the top and I'll do half of the mask and then I will, I'll, I'll then attack it from the bottom. Now you can see here that on the left hand side of that, um, that fleur de lis, I've actually peeled off a little bit of the gold itself. That's not a problem because we're going to come back and repair that. So as I said earlier, I'm going to start at the top, work my way halfway and then start at the bottom. So away from the sharp areas, peeling in towards the detailed areas. And once that's done, um, if you're lucky, you could call it a day. Uh, I'm left with just a couple of areas that need a little bit of attention. So um, I'm using little cotton buds and um, also you saw me using some masking tape and a little craft knife there to get out any stubborn little bits of the mask that's left over. And now I'm going to paint on just a little bit of size and repeat the process, but um, in a much smaller level to just take care of the areas that uh, uh, where the, the actual gold leaf had come off. And that's what it looks like finished. And doesn't it look wonderful? And um, my project was this, I made a shield. And so you can see where the faces of the lions, that's just pure paint on top of gold leaf. Not a problem at all, really works well. So if you're interested um, in this project and uh, what it looks like, there's a nice video I made, 15 minutes long, here it is. And then that was broken down into three parts. And these go through step by step how to achieve what I wanted to do, showing you how the masking was done and uh, everything else in detail. Uh, thanks for watching.